What is fiber? How much fiber should I be eating? And what is the difference between soluble and insoluble fiber? In my previous video about the key diet and lifestyle tips for managing constipation, I did touch on the role of fiber in constipation. However, there's just so much more to fiber that I didn't have time to discuss it all in that one video. So in today's video, I will be delving into more detail about the incredibly important role that fiber plays in our diets. Now I do have a video where I delve more into the carbohydrates in general, by the way, which I have linked down below. But yes, in today's video, it's all about fabulous fiber. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Didi and I'm an Irish-based registered dietitian working for my dietitian clinic called Didi Titian. As always, if you like this video, please let me know by leaving a little positive comment and by liking this video, maybe subscribing or following my page because this does help me to get the word out there to more people like you who are interested in evidence-based nutrition videos just like this one. So to get started, what is fibre? Well, fibre is a type of carbohydrate that we only find in plants, often in the walls of the cells of plants. Fibre is a very complicated structure, which is why it often takes very long to digest. And this means it helps us to feel fuller for longer, but it's also great for our gut health as it helps to bulk out our stools and keeps everything moving through. Now we have two main types of fibre and these are referred to as soluble and insoluble fibre. Soluble fibre is the type of fibre that dissolves easily in water to form a gel-like substance. Now this type of fibre is great for making your stools softer and it can feed those healthy gut bacteria. We find soluble fibre in foods such as oats, rye, barley, beans, lentils, potatoes, carrots, and strawberries and apples. Now insoluble fibre takes much longer to digest and often passes through the gut without being even digested at all. I'm pretty sure we've all seen that sweet corn going in and coming out looking pretty similar, right? Now this insoluble fibre is the stuff that can help you feel fuller for longer after a high fibre meal. It can also add more bulk to your stools, helping them to move through your gut more efficiently. Good sources of insoluble fibre include high fibre breakfast cereals, brown rice, the skins on fruit and veg, nuts and seeds. So next, what do we need fibre for? Well, first of all, we already discussed this, but fibre can help us to feel fuller after a meal. This is because it's quite bulky and it takes a while to digest, meaning it takes up more space in our stomach. By feeling more satisfied and full after a meal, we are naturally more able to control our portion sizes and are less likely to feel hungry soon after a meal. Next, fibre helps to bulk out your stools and helps them to move more quickly through your digestive tract. Now this is really important as it helps to cut down the time that waste products are spending in your gut, helping to reduce your risk of damage to the gut wall. And this is one of the reasons why higher fibre diets are associated with a reduced risk of colon cancer. Now, another reason to include more high fibre foods is that these foods are often great sources of vitamins and minerals. Whole grain foods especially are high in our B vitamins and antioxidants such as vitamin E and selenium. And your fruits and veggies provide a whole host of vitamins, minerals and phytonutrients. And lastly, fibre is an important food source for the gut bacteria. We need our gut bacteria to help us with digestion and our immune system. And they also make a host of vitamins for us while they're at it. So keeping them well fed with a prebiotic fiber, especially those soluble fiber foods is vital. So then the question is how much fiber do we need? Now, most of us need anywhere between 24 to 35 grams of fiber a day. However, to put this into more simple terms, in all fairness, the majority of people just simply need more. However, do be cautious to gradually build up your fiber intake rather than increasing all the fiber at once because your gut may need a bit of time to adjust. So increase a little day by day over the course of a few weeks. And also do be aware that some people may be recommended to eat less fiber due to a medical concern. So always follow your own trusted healthcare professional's advice over any of the advice in any of my videos. Um, but now an example of a day of eating that would meet your daily fiber needs. And um, it would look something like this. You have a bowl of porridge for breakfast with a spoonful of milled flax seeds mixed into it and a banana on top. Then you have an apple and a yogurt as a snack. You might have a tuna sandwich on whole grain bread with a bit of salad on the sandwich for lunch. You might also have a handful of nuts as an afternoon snack. And then for dinner, you have a jacket potato with fish and lots of colorful veggies on the side. Now I'm gonna end this video with some super quick tips on how to include more fiber in your day. First of all, try not to skip breakfast. High fiber breakfast options are a great way to start the day with a high fiber meal. Next, include plenty of fruit and veg with each meal and with your snacks. Also try to snack on nuts as they are a great source of insoluble fiber. And lastly, consider adding milled flax seeds to your breakfast, your soups, smoothies, and yogurts because flax seeds are a great source of both the soluble and insoluble fiber. 
Now I hope you found this video useful. I'd love to hear your favorite high fiber meal ideas down there below. And if you like this video, then I'd love to hear from you through a like, a positive comment, maybe a follow. Now all going well, I will be seeing you again here in two weeks time. See you then. Bye bye.